Dante, how the bye week treat you? Uh, it was good, you know, uh, got some good rest. Um, you know, watched a lot of film and you know, now we're ready to practice. All right, how's the, uh, how are you getting prepared for the SEC opener against such a big time opponent? Yeah, uh, treat it like every week. Um, still studying hard, uh, practice hard, just prepare the right way so we can execute our job. Deontay Keynes talked about the run defense and the run fits. How do you think you guys are doing uh, fitting the run and what do you think uh, is the key to improving in those run fits? Yeah, uh, I think reps. Um, just get them reps at practice and just being disciplined and doing your job and, you know, just being on the same page. Uh, I feel like the, the fits are getting better, uh, but, you know, we still got a long way to go uh, if we want to be the defense we want to be. What have you seen in the Georgia offensive line on, on film so far? Yeah, uh, physical group. Um, they work together well and, you know, it'll be a challenge for us, but we're ready for it. Are, you, are there things you take away from that Kentucky game? They were just in about sort of had to limit them. Uh, I mean, you can watch the film from it, but you can't really, can't really judge the team off, off their performance on that game. Um, you know, every week is a new week, and you know, I'm sure they, they um, go into the practice field and, and try to fix their flaws. And you know, we're just, we're just trying to get better and, you know, be ready for the game. This isn't an offense that turns the ball over all that much, and, and you guys are kind of prone for, or you know, build momentum by turnovers and take away opportunities and things like that. What's been the encouragement to kind of continue that swarm mentality against an offense that may not give you a lot of opportunities? To? Uh, I, I mean, if you think about it, every play is an opportunity to take the ball away. So um, that's our mentality, and you know, um, we we just work that on, on the practice field and. No, that's what we live on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when when you think of SEC play, I mean, obviously Georgia is you know its own animal, right? Um, but when you think of SEC play, like what comes to mind in terms of like the characteristics of you know your SEC team, another SEC team, things like that? Yeah, um, powerhouse, um, yeah. physical football. Um, just got to be very detailed. Um, this this the type of games you can't you can't make many mistakes, uh, or it'll it'll cost you the game, and you know. Just got to be detailed in everything you do and execute. How do you explain that to whether it's freshmen, whether it's transfers, whether it's coaches who are going through yeah. their first SEC play? How do you how do you kind of get them to understand like that mentality? Uh, I think that's a mentality that we already got to have going into the season. Like yeah. before the season even starts, we already got to have that mentality. And you know that just starts on the practice field. Um, just being detailed in everything you do, uh, never taking no rip for granted, and you know just playing the next play. Uh, Etn's running back. What is he? added to the offense based on what you've seen so far? Yeah, uh, he got he got some juice to him. Um, great back. Uh, he can do he can do all. He can, you know, run between the tackles, run outside, um, catch the ball out the backfield. So uh, it'll be a challenge for us. But, you know, uh, only thing that matters is us <laughs> executing and doing our job and, you know, preparing the right way. What's going to be the key to uh, playing the correct assignments against play action? Uh, your eyes. You got to have your eyes in the right spot. Um, Especially for me, linebacker, you know, you got to see the see the O line soft set and just just get out uh, as quick as you can. Mm, that's the biggest thing for me. What are you, what are you taking from last year's game? Uh, what you, we just saw with Carson Beck and, the, and their offense. Uh, I don't really take too much from from last year. Uh, they got a new team. We got a new team. Uh, it's a new year, and you no, know, I can only judge them off, off their last game, and they can only judge off our, us off our last game. So. What is the, uh, I know sometimes they use ETN in the pass game too, but what's the challenges of linebacker covering a running back in the pass game? Yeah, uh, it can be it can be a challenge. Um, you just got to make sure you study your film, um, watch watch the hips and, you know, play technique. You'll be all right. Shane talked about getting rid of those or eliminating those uh, easy access throws. How much of that is on the linebackers too, picking up, you know, screens on the perimeter? You know, how much of, you know, extra... I guess in this defense effort, do you have to put in the in the pass game too? Yeah, um, like I said earlier, uh, when he asked about the play action, you just gotta uh, have your eyes in the right spot. And on the play action, um, just get out as quick as you can. I mean, you know, if if it's certain tendencies that uh, they like to go quick game, and you just gotta pick up on that throughout the week and watch it film. Do you feel that you and uh, Jihad are the the best inside linebacking combo in the nation? You guys are playing pretty well right now. Uh, we're we're just working every day to to be the best that we can, and you know we don't really. <laughs> How do you feel like the defense has done through three weeks or grown through three weeks? Yeah, uh, I think we've grown a lot. Um, it's still still plays we leaving out there, and you know that's that's gonna come. Um, like like Coach said the other day, um, I think we had like thirteen balls batted or on the ground or something like that, but we only got two turnovers, and you know that'll come. Uh, just just keep going at. It.
Is it difficult to not pay attention to all the kind of extra stuff with a game like this and game days in town? It's the primetime game. All I mean, uh, the external factor is going to always be there. Um, it is pretty difficult to, you know, not pay attention to it, but you just got to keep the main thing the main thing and, you know, just make sure on the practice field everything is going well and the only thing that matters is the game. You guys talk a lot about the length mentality. Do you almost kind of strive on the fact that it's the first time since I think 2007 that you're the home underdog? Do you, do you kind of almost like having that chip on your shoulder heading into a matchup like this? Uh, I, I would say so. I would say, um, you know, that definitely fuels us a, a little bit more, but you know, we always got a chip on our shoulder. Um, like you said, Link, uh, we, we live in by that. Does anybody, do the coaches bring that up? Do the players bring that up? Or how does it kind of get addressed throughout the locker room? We all bring it up. Just let them know. It's the first time uh, in almost over a decade that uh, Alabama's opened SEC play with a top 10 opponent. Does that change anything for you guys that, uh, going into this week? Uh, nah, that don't change anything. Same old week, you know, uh, just got to prepare the right way so you can execute on Saturday. Nothing matters but the game. Is there any way to prepare for physicality or? Uh, you practice it, I mean, but it's not the same in the game, of course, but you know, uh, you just gotta have that mindset when you're going in the game. You know it's gonna be a physical game. Every game's a physical game, but. You, you said you practice it, but is it something that has to be innate or can you build that or, 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 or develop that? I'll say that one more time. You said you practice physicality. Is it something that is kind of innate in you, or, or, or can you develop uh, physicality? Can you develop toughness? Uh, I think I think both. Both. I think it's, it can be in you, or you know, just developing it. Uh, you know, on the practice field. Um, you know, on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, you got to make sure you you going extra hard and uh, not not going based off the scout look, but because you know the the offense will move way faster than the scout look. So. You know, you just got to make sure you're doing all the right things te technique-wise. And, you know, when Saturday comes, just let it all loose. There's obviously a lot of, you know, for lack of a better term, noise that's that's coming, like, around this game, whether it's, you know, game day, whether it's, you know, celebrities going to be here, you know, things all along the nature. As a, as, as a player, like, do you just kind of try and get all of that out of your head and just focus on what's in front of you? Or how do you kind yeah. of adapt to or respond to, I guess, the attention and, you know, Tuscaloosa being the center of the college football world? This yeah. Uh, like I said, nothing, nothing matters but the game, yeah. you know. Um, all the external factors going to be there anyways. Um, so all you can worry about is, you know, make sure you're studying, preparing, and, you know, so you're able to execute. Um, nothing else matters. Just keep the main thing the main thing. I mean, is that is that a stage that you guys, you, you sense this team could thrive in, though? Like, in terms of, because everybody's going to be watching this game, yeah. right? Like, is that a stage you're, you guys are wanting to kind of showcase what Alabama football is under yeah. Coach Shabor? Yeah, I, I definitely think we're built for it. And, you know, that just come throughout the week, uh, how we prepare, um, how we study, and, you know, uh, we'll, we'll let it show on, on Saturday. Deontay Kane talked about bullets, calling bullets in the, against the run, de uh, against run defense, run bullets. What, 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 is, what goes through your mind when, when he calls these plays that, that are designed to specifically disrupt the run, the, the run game? I'll make the play. I mean, it's, it's nothing else to it. I mean, if coach call your number, it's, it's your job to go make the play. Um, ain't nothing else to that, really. I mean... <laughs> Go make the play. Thanks, Yante.